Hi, welcome to this video. I wanted to share two last things um, that I picked up that I didn't share and and a hair tip. So this is um, a Trader Joe's, um, it's actually a salve. Um, it's really cool. Um, it has oat flour in it just like the CoverGirl um, clean press powder that I got but they both have eucalyptus. So I love eucalyptus so I wanted to give this a try. And I got a new audiobook on CD today. Um, I'll read you a little bit of the back cover to tell you what it's about. Um, 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 I guess this book provides greater understanding and insight into the psychological factors that influence the decisions about what we eat and why and how these choices affect our lives, animals' lives, and the environment. Um, Um, he, the author shows how food affects our moral selves, our health, and the environment. The face on your plate raises questions that make us conscious of the decisions behind every bite we take. How does the health of animals affect the health of, your, of our planet and of our bodies? What effect does eating animals have on our land, on our waters, and even on global warming? What are the are the results of farming practices, debeaking chickens, and separating calves from their mothers on animals and humans? As a psychoanalysis mason uniquely investigates how denial keeps us from recognizing the animal at the end of your fork. Think pig, not bacon. In each culture's distinction among animals considered food and those that are forbidden. The face on your plate brings together Mason's intellectual, psychological, and emotional expertise over the last 20 years into the pivotal book of the food revolution. Anyone who wants to be open-eyed about their food choices, vegans, vegetarians, and meat eaters, will welcome this timely work. And this is um, right here is um, an audio book of um, the food revolution which is mentioned um, in here so that's pretty cool um, yeah so I wanted to more um, I mean learn more about um, the lives of animals and what kind of suffering they go through, and more about the environment, um, and how animals and the environment and humans, how they work together. Um, and I wanted to learn about that. And um, a good hair advice that I discovered, um, what I did was I used this salve from Trader Joe's. It has uh, herbal ingredients. It's really cool. Um, and it has... Um, like, it's mostly natural, I think, and I took some of that, and I put it on the ends, and my hair a little bit, I think, and then I used this, um, Trader Joe's aloe vera, um, it has, um, calendula extract, um, and this product is produced without any animal testing or animal byproducts, um, I took a little bit of the gel and I put some on my ends and I just kind of, I have my hair back in a ponytail and I just kind of put my hair like that and I think my hair really liked the combination of these two. So this is a really great um, uh, hair treatment for um, your hair if you want to use um, some cruelty free beauty products for the hair and like it's pretty natural. So. Yeah, I think that did a good job for taking care of my hair. And so that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.